So in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Wolfram Alpha app and also Khan Academy. Let's start with Khan Academy. Now, when I come inside the Khan Academy app, as you can see on the left-hand side, I'm presented with a whole bunch of different topics I can look at for videos. Since this is a math-related video, let's click on Math. I'm going to go into Algebra, Equation Basics, and I'm going to choose Combining Like Terms. I'll play the video. Let's say that I've got two, you can represent this as literally a Chuck Norris plus a Chuck Norris. Now I'm going to pause that. If you notice on the bottom of the screen, the entire video is broken down into chapters. They refer to it as subtitles. So if a student's watching it and there's something they didn't get, they can just click over here. So I'm going to add another three Chuck Norrises, and this might seem a little bit obvious and it will go to that part in the video. So it's a pretty neat app. There's lots and lots of different videos available. Next, we're going to go inside the Wolfram Alpha app. Now, if you notice on the left-hand side, there's all sorts of different stuff you can play with in Wolfram Alpha. The way we're going to use it today is to type in an algebra problem. I I've cheated a bit. I've typed it in advance because I don't want to bore you guys with uh, typing it out. So I'm just going to paste it in and I'm going to click on Go. You're going to see it's going to calculate it. There you go. I can see what it looks like when it's plot. But what I really want to focus on is right over here where it says step-by-step -step solution. I click on that button. Then I click on show all steps. And what's amazing is it uses real language to explain how to solve this problem step by step. So it's pretty neat for students to look and verify their work or find out where they made a problem in their own calculations. One thing worth mentioning is Wolfram Alpha works a little bit different when you want to put in an equation. I'll give you an example. Let's just delete that out. If you wanted to write x to the power of 2 in Wolfram Alpha, what you need to do is hit x and then this little symbol over here called the caret and then let's put a 2. So basically that's x to the power of 2 or x to the power of 3, whatever you'd like, and then you click on Go. 